Ladies and gentlemen, Gerald Fjord. Hi, this is Gerald Fjord. This is episode one of Gerald's Gear. Um, basically, what happened is John O'Wells from Modular World, he reached out to me and wanted me to start a new segment on the show, Modular World, where I talk about gear. I get a lot of it, obviously. And, um, yeah, so I kind of came up with the idea of not just showcasing just a module or just a piece of gear. It won't just be modules, uh, but kind of more how I use it. And so what it'll be is the module or the piece of gear and integrated into a mini patch of sorts showing you how it sounds with other gear in intended usage. So just a little bit different than some of the stuff that's out there. I know some people are doing that um, as well, but that's what I'm doing. So deal with it. We just had the recent Modular World and it was a great episode, some great performances. You guys should go check it out if you haven't yet. Um, basically during that show we started the new segment and Gerald's Gear is also a live segment during the show. It's going to be anywhere, you know, seven minutes, ten minutes long. Um, usually it's going to be us talking at the beginning, then go over a live mini patch. And so it's kind of a singular usage of that module. So I wanted to create this in long form to showcase whatever I'm showcasing just a little bit more in depth, uh, showing some different patch ideas, some different things that go along with it. This first episode is going to be a little bit uh, decent, uh, hoping to really roll out some better production as we go along, but since this was a last minute idea to do this, and I want to get this one out before the next one um, comes up in a couple of weeks, so just wanted to put something out there, make sure the episodes are in line with Modular World, so this is episode one, Chaos Devices, I'm going to pronounce it wrong, Sarajevo, Sarajevo, S-A-R- J-E-W-O. I know it's capital of Bosnia, um, but I got reamed in the chat on Modular world, world for pronouncing it wrong, so sorry. Anyways, this is what it is. Hope you enjoy.
So yeah, um, I think in the future I'm going to be talking about a little bit more what's going on with each of those patches. Uh, again, this is just kind of a, a quick one to get us started. Um, but just to give you an idea, in a lot of those patches you had usually one sound source, sometimes two, and going into the, I'm just going to call it the chaos device delay, and there's a tap one, two, and three. Each of those taps have individual outputs and with those outputs you can put the tap into external routing so I can run one through a de another delay, I can run one through a reverb or bit crusher, distortion, filter, uh, however you want it. So it's, it really opens up a lot of ideas and different ways of doing things. Um, you can route any of those back into itself. There's enough feedback, external feedback input on the module so you can run it and create feedback paths which is a lot of fun. Uh, one of my favorite things, you, you saw a lot of that in the video which was you kind of have the uh, time set or the the clock. So you set the clock up top, but you have a the clock modulated, and then you can also modulate the time. So the time, the big knob in the middle, you can play with that manually. Um, but it's fun to kind of get both and just play with some different patterns going on with the clocks and get some interesting results. Some of that stuff might sound a little funky with a, a melody. Um, but that's just kind of to show you what it can do and uh, you can try that with more um, less melodic either oscillators uh, sequences going on or with drums something like that uh, especially cool with drums with any kind of delay but you can bring that in and out you got the mix knob so you can actually have it oscillating and then use a VCA bring that up and in a lot of cool stuff you can do with this module it's a lot of fun but Again, my favorite part is that it's a BBD uh, delay, analog delay, which I come from a pedal world, and I absolutely loved pedals, uh, BBD delay pedals, just for the, it's got, they're, they're typically a dark sound. This one can get pretty pristine, because each of the taps, there's actually a low-pass gate filter, anti-aliasing filter that it goes into, and then a compander that expands the sound afterwards, so it really takes away a lot of those artifacts. Sometimes those artifacts are nice, uh, but in some instances you want to have more pristine and on the faster speeds you can get a real clean high pristine delay but if you turn it really low uh, slow low slow then it's going to um, be more of a dark delay so it's really cool because a lot of analog delays only go up to about the good you know it's come sometimes difficult to find ones that go to a thousand milliseconds I believe this one's like a hundred one thousand five hundred and thirty six milliseconds somewhere around there but um, definitely longer than a lot of BBD delays out there so another really cool kind of feature that's going on with it but yeah anyways uh, thanks Jono for starting this segment again if you didn't watch modular world make sure you go check out the live segment and all the great performances that went along um, and this has been episode one of Gerald's gear thanks